morning everyone welcome back to another video um i honestly feel a bit nervous filming this because i think i feel like this with all of these kind of pregnancy videos because i'm filming them a bit in advance and you're not going to see them for you know a few more weeks until we you know no, we know the pregnancy is progressing well and i guess i just feel i feel nervous you know after what happened the last time and the thing is i actually filmed a few videos like this when i was pregnant um like nearly two years ago and i had a miscarriage so then i never posted those videos and yeah i think sometimes it feels like you might be jinxing things which i know is just so silly but i did want to kind of you know track the progress of this pregnancy and then also kind of share a few things that um i've been doing because so i'm in the first trimester and i'm now seven weeks a bit over seven weeks pregnant and my morning sickness is just insane it's been really bad this time around i mean i think if you look in the grand scheme of things it's not that bad because I, I actually haven't really thrown up at all i just have that sickness feeling like that nausea pretty much all day long and it's really bad like it's so much worse than i had it with my previous pregnancies um if you're new around here maybe you don't know kind of my background my what what happened but i already have a son he's four years old he's actually going to be five soon the age gap between my son and this baby um will be five years and a bit um and i had another pregnancy that ended up in miscarriage at 13 weeks which was honestly heartbreaking it was probably one of the hardest things I've ever been through and I just don't want to get into that because I'm gonna get emotional but yeah so that's kind of my background story and we've been trying so after we had that miscarriage we've been trying for about two years now to get pregnant again and it's been such a whirlwind like you know so many fertility tests and appointments and blood tests and scans and everything like that so it feels like it's been such a long time coming getting to this pregnancy and I can't help but feel nervous about it like I try my best to you know stay positive and focus on the good things but I would be lying if I said it was easy because it's really not I feel like this is probably the hardest pregnancy for me um, maybe not necessarily just physically but mentally it's been just just really hard <laughs> to get through this first trimester so I'm really looking forward to getting into the second trimester so I can feel a bit more safe but yeah i wanted to kind of document a bit week six and seven of my pregnancy and kind of tell you how it's been going um in case you are pregnant you know around the same um week because i know when i when i'm pregnant even now i really like going on youtube and watching other people's pregnancy videos just because i don't know it's fun to see what symptoms other people have like what they're going through um what when they have their scans everything like that i just really enjoy watching those when I'm pregnant. It might not be that interesting to you if you're not pregnant, but <laughs> just in case you want to see how I'm kind of dealing with the morning sickness and everything like that. So I filmed my breakfast this morning and I'm gonna um, show you what, what I had for breakfast. Nobody told me to settle it depends on the foods that i'm eating and it depends on the days because sometimes i wake up in the morning and i can't eat much like i feel like i'm just gonna be sick um but today was okay ish this morning so i had um toast with butter um ham i get the cooked ham because i know you're not supposed to have um, like deli meats like salami and parma ham so, or anything like that so I get the cooked ham from Tesco's and that should be um, okay and then I have an uh, I had an egg on top and some fruit on the side I usually have like strawberries or blueberries whatever we have on hand um, so that's what I had for breakfast and then I also had a coffee um, I do still have the like full calf regular coffee but I only drink half of that honestly this time around like being a mom I feel like I need that bit of extra energy so i'm not planning on giving up caffeine completely but i'm just gonna have um you know less amounts of caffeine which i think even if you have a full cup it should be fine but i prefer to have just half of it and then i give my husband the other half and let me actually sit down for a bit because i'm so out of breath like it's crazy because i feel like you know i'm 
just in the very early pregnancy stages yes yeah, so i feel like it's such early pregnancy stages but i feel very very pregnant <laughs> like i'm gonna show you and i feel like even in the morning like i wake up with this little bump which which you know is not big or anything but um with my first pregnancy i definitely didn't have a bump for quite a while and this time around i feel like my body's like we know what to do so there you go <laughs> there's your bump already and i'm not sure if it's even blows because now now it might be a bit but um i wake up in the morning with that bump so i do feel like it is a bit you know obviously the baby is really tiny but just kind of your uterus growing and everything like that so today baby is the size of a blueberry i thought i would show you that's kind of what the baby looks like it's quite insane to me so i'm seven weeks and two days today that i'm feeling this and i think the main symptom that i've been feeling is this constant nausea it's honestly quite frustrating and i feel like it's much worse than i had it with my son in that pregnancy and um, also in the second pregnancy that i lost um, and i'm not sure if it's you know just different pregnancy or if it's because i'm also on fertility medication which i know can affect like it can give you the, the side effects can be nausea so it might be you know making it worse i'm not sure if it's that but regardless it's been quite bad and i feel like if i go two or three hours without having anything to eat i get really really nauseous because i think my stomach is starting to get a bit emptier um and yeah i've just been kind of snacking i've been living off of um crackers and breadsticks um like in between meals and i do have kind of smaller meals because I can't eat too much in one sitting or I'm gonna feel sick. I have this really weird, like I don't feel like I've had any major cravings. I do crave fruit, which I guess is good. And I'm trying my best to still eat, you know, a variety of things, um, but it's definitely hard. <laughs> it's definitely hard because so many things don't, don't sound good to me. And I do our weekly meal plan, which you probably already know I do that on a Sunday usually and then we have our food shop on Monday coming and, and we have the meals ready for the week that I'm gonna cook each day and now so I plan the meals for the week and then when the time comes to cook them sometimes I'm like oh I don't feel like eating that today like that doesn't sound good to me anymore which is really frustrating but oh, oh well what can you do and I've had this really bad aversion to a few things so I feel like garlic is making me really sick which um, I think I had this in the pregnancy with Victor my son as well I think I remember having this as well um, I think it's also because it gives you that kind of aftertaste if you know what I mean um, so that makes it worse and then oh my gosh this is the worst aversion I've ever had probably like uh, Victor is really into pepperoni at the moment even just saying the word makes me a bit queasy I don't know what it is about it but just thinking about it even when I put it on our food shop list it makes me feel sick <laughs> it's just insane I have this really strong aversion to it which I know you're not supposed to eat it uh, you know salami or pepperoni like raw unless you um, heat it up or cook it on a pizza or whatever so Victor's been really into having pepperoni pizza and so i cook that for him you know in the oven and i cook that multiple times in a week because he's really really into it at the moment i think if i would let him he would have it every single day but you know try to give him a bit of variety there but yeah it's just so bad the smell of it cooking and well i've been um showing my husband how to make that pizza so that you know when he's available and he's not working he can cook that for Victor and I go upstairs so I don't have to smell it because it's just so bad I I don't know why it's just so weird to me but that's been really bad like I can't I can't even look at it and I even had some of it in the beginning of the pregnancy I had some on a pizza and I was fine with it like at around four weeks or so and now I can't I can't even look at it I can't even think about it so yeah let's change the subject before i get too sick speaking of medication because you know i have been having fertility treatment um it's nothing major it's not like ivf which i know so many people go through and i can only imagine what that feels like but yeah I, so i'm um taking progesterone and also thyroid medication they actually increased my do my dose 
for the thyroid medicine because I had another blood test. I, I think I'm gonna have to have them every four weeks or so for my thyroid throughout the pregnancy um, because my thyroid, um, I have gestational hypothyroidism. I think that's what it's called. Um, and it's weird because I don't have this when I'm not pregnant. It's just when I get pregnant, my thyroid goes completely off. Um, so I'm on that. They increased my dose because apparently um, the lower dose I was on was not enough and then I'm gonna have to redo the test in a few weeks but yeah so I have pretty interesting schedule with my medication let me show you I mean it's not not too bad I can't complain but I have a list on my phone with the meds that I have to take every day and I started taking them um, after ovulation like on one day post ovulation um, and this is what I take every single day and I feel like there's Quite a lot of rules you need to follow with this medication like i take the thyroid medication right when i wake up and i have to wait for 30 minutes before i can have breakfast 30 minutes to an hour you know obviously as long as i can handle it because um you need to let your body absorb the thyroid medication before you can have breakfast that's what i read on the i think it says on the prescription and then um i also take right in the morning the progesterone um and that's a pessary uh, and I have to lay down for about 30 minutes after I take this. So when I can, I take them together, like the progesterone and the thyroid medication. And then I lay in bed for at least 30 minutes. And then I also take prenatals. I just take the Pregnacare. Um, and I take those at lunch because um, you can't take the prenatals uh, right after taking thyroid medication because apparently it doesn't let it absorb as well if you do that. So you need to have at least four hours between the thyroid medication and the prenatals and I take my prenatals with my lunch because of that so that it is you know four hours or even more between those um, medications and then in the evening before I go to bed I uh, take another progesterone pessary and again you have to lay down for 30 minutes but I take it right, right before I go to bed so um, yeah, that's kind of my medication routine at the moment. Yeah, I guess it's not too bad. It's just kind of taking me a bit of time to adjust to all of that. As far as symptoms go, I feel like I've also been really tired. Like I'm fine in the morning until about noon. And then after that, it's all downhill. Like I'm so, so tired. I just feel like laying on the sofa, which is really hard because obviously Victor wants me to play with him. Um, so we've just been doing more chill games like building Legos or puzzles or things like that because I barely have any energy left. Yeah, so that's that. I have scheduled, you know, my appointments for the next few weeks and it's exciting but also nerve-wracking. Like I have my first scan. I've booked a private one at eight weeks. So that's coming up in less than a week because here in the UK, you probably already know if you're here, um, you only get a scan from the NHS at 12 weeks, which feels like such a long time to wait at the moment. So because I had a previous missed miscarriage, which means I didn't even know I miscarried or you know that the baby had died until I went to that scan and they saw that there was no heartbeat. So I was 13, I was supposed to be 13 weeks, but the baby was only measuring 12 and it had no heartbeat. So I think because of that experience, I just want to know a bit earlier. Like I want to go to an eight week scan and I want to see if everything's going right so far. Like obviously things can still happen, but I think it will really help me, give me a, a bit of peace of mind. So uh, we're going privately at eight weeks and I'm excited to go, but at the same time, I feel like I am going to be a nervous wreck because it's just, um, I do feel like it's a bit traumatic after you go through something like that but you know gonna try my best to keep positive and hope for the best because at the end of the day that's all we can do is hope right yeah and then i have my um 12 week scan all booked um i have my midwife appointment booked so uh, quite a few appointments coming up soon yeah i think that's kind of what i wanted to talk to you about i'm gonna show you the rest of the meals that i have throughout the day Okay, 
because I'm just making my lunch and I'm making a quick salad. So I've cut up um, everything into tiny pieces because I feel like it just tastes better that way. <laughs> it might be silly, but so I've got cucumber, tomato, um, a cherry tomato. I've got a tiny bit of onion because I, I don't think I can handle too much. I've got some of that um, cooked ham. And then I've got two pieces of toast with a bit of butter on top. And on top of the salad, I just put a bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. And I'm gonna also add some feta cheese. Um, this is pasteurized, I checked, because um, you're not supposed to have unpasteurized um, soft cheese, but this one should be fine. So I'm gonna add some of that and mix it all up and I'm gonna have this. I am honestly starving. It's only um, 11 a.m. and I'm already starving. I had a few crackers just to kind of tie me over. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have this now. So that's my lunch. I'm gonna go ahead and have this because again I'm starving. And then I'm gonna have my prenatal. So it's just a simple pregnant care um, prenatals. And yeah, that's gonna be my lunch for today. Excuse the noise if you can hear that. I've got a washing machine in the background. But I just finished my lunch. And this is the thing. I, I'm. I think I'm fine eating a lot of things. Um, and I'm grateful for that and the fact that I can keep it down because obviously, you know, I'm trying to get as much nutritious food as possible. But I feel sick. Like a few minutes after, I just started feeling sick and I'm, I'm really starting to feel that now. Even though I enjoyed the food while I was eating it, afterwards I just feel sick regardless <laughs> of what I eat. So yeah, I guess that's gonna be that's gonna be the case for another few weeks probably. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready now and go pick up a Victor soon from preschool. I'm gonna walk there just to kind of get a few steps in. I haven't been running since I found out I was pregnant because it just gives me anxiety to be honest. Like I know it should be fine to go running, um, especially if you've done it before getting pregnant but it just makes me anxious and I don't feel like doing something that makes me anxious if you know what I mean like I want to do this because I enjoy it and it makes me feel good so um, I just have been trying to get more walks in um, instead and things like that just doing the things that make me feel comfortable so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that Get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die Okay, so we got back home. I uh, brought Victor back from nursery and it was so hot outside uh, and unpleasant a bit, but I think it also kind of affects me more now that I'm uh, pregnant, but I feel like that took a lot out of me. Got my steps in for sure. Um, so I'm just making that banana bread that I just showed you. And I don't know why, but I'm just craving that banana bread for some reason. Thankfully, we had the ingredients for it. Um, so I'm just gonna, that's gonna cook for 50 minutes. So it's gonna be a while. Uh, so I'm gonna have a, a little snack because it's been two and a half hours since I had my lunch. So I'm already feeling a bit queasy. Uh, because of that so I'm just gonna have a quick snack so I'm just gonna have two crackers and then some cherries I don't think I'm gonna eat all of these because I don't think my um, nausea can take all of that in one go but yeah I'm gonna have this for a snack and then in about an hour I might have that uh, banana bread I'm out of I'm waiting around for something real I'm going crazy 
the deal Cause I want you to show me what you feel You're watching me like you want Okay, so we've had the dinner. It was really delicious. It was um, tandoori chicken um, and I make that with some naan breads on the side and just kind of a, a salad thing which I have the recipe from HelloFresh from a long time ago. I will link it in the description box um, but I just make it again and again because it's so delicious. Um, so that's what we had for dinner. Oh, I'm a bit out of breath because I came up the stairs. So I'm just getting ready to do bath time with Victor soon. Um, and then after bath time, I usually go downstairs and have a treat. Like that's my, my usual thing every night. So I think tonight I'm just gonna have some more banana bread. I had some of that earlier for a snack and it's really, really good. Um, all of the recipes, I'll try to link them in the description box that I used today. And then I'm not sure if I'm gonna have anything else. Maybe some fruit or something. I don't know, maybe some crisps. I'll see what I fancy when I go downstairs. But yeah, that's it from me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this kind of update. Um, and yeah, hope you're having a good day and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.